Can anyone read what it says for me? Bird. What are it the says, effig effig effigy mounds? Yes. The effigy Bird. mounds are the earthen works that have been formed in the shapes of geometric figures, such as circles and lines, or in the shape of animals or even humans. The most common types of animal-shaped mounds are those that depict birds, bears, turtles, and long-tailed creatures that are called panthers or water spirits. It is known that the specific animal shapes represent or, or why the mounds are even shaped like animals. Native folk folklore suggests that animals represent spirits of the upper and lower worlds. Bird-shaped mounds represented the spirits of the upper world, and four-legged creatures represented the spirits of the lower world. The existence of both upper world animals and lower world animals suggests that the natives were concerned about ma with maintaining some sense of harmony among the spirits. Okay, okay. It is also another common theory that the mounds may be property markers for a specific tribal clan. Many clans are represented by animal names and symbols, and thus an overabundance of specific animal mound may, be in, in, may indicate land ownership by that clan. One additional function of the effigy mounds is for human burials which suggests that they may have served some religious purpose. W.C. McKern, an archaeologist with the Milwaukee Public Museum, excavated many of the Nitschke Nitsch mounds in 19, 1927 and found burial, burial remains in about 75% of them. Today, all Indian mounds in Wisconsin are considered to be burial sites and are protected by state law. It is illegal to tamper with and or remove any artifacts from the mounds.